Hello friends, so in this video I'm going to show you uh, a new project, okay? So this one is very similar to uh, the previous one which is uh, GAS84. So in that video we did a project to automate a report in Google document. So right now here in this, in this video I'm going to do a similar task but here we are using Google Slide, all right? So basically, uh, we have a template like this uh, with a, a Google Slide template like this. So in this template, as you can see, uh, we have some placeholders for text, like the title and the author. And uh, we have uh, another placeholder here, which is a little bit, a, a little bit different because this is a table. So for table, I use this alternative text here. Uh, I put it, I put a placeholder uh, called uh, in, in this title, so I can find this table easily with this title. Okay, so this placeholder is also defined in our spreadsheet. So this is how we def uh, design our template. And uh, so for text, you can put the placeholder directly in the text, but for table, uh, I used. Uh, this alternative text, all right? And uh, say for the same for the image, if you check, uh, you also have an image like this. Uh, this placeholder for this image is called profile. And if you check this Facebook icon here, uh, you have a Facebook like this. So this is, uh, so basically we have three types of uh, data we can, we can replace. So for text, we can place holder directly in this text. But for image and uh, tables, uh, we need to use the alternative title. Uh, we use we need to use the alternative. What is that? What is called the alternative? What is that? So, alternative text. Okay, we just put the placeholder in this title. Okay, for image and uh, tables. So basically, in this way, you can design your template. You just need to. Okay make a beautiful template, okay, and then you can create a report, and all of these placeholders will be updated later with a script, and we can enter the data in a spreadsheet. Okay, let me show you. So this is the uh, Google spreadsheet here, all right? So first of all, let me show you these reports here. In this tab, we have, uh, in this cell B1, you have a URL or you can have an ID. So here you can either put a URL to point to your slide, template slide actually. So after you design your template, you replace this URL with your own, okay? So you only need to do these settings like this. And here I have a tab called text and another tab called image. So, and then a third one is a table called calendar. All right, so this calendar is a little bit different. I'm going to explain this later. But for now, let, let me explain this text placeholders. So, but, so basically, there are key value pairs. So basically, if you have a, a placeholder called file name, and uh, this is actually the value which is going to be updated with this value. So basically, this is a key value pair. So if you define any keys in your template, like this way, uh, you have a key here in this file name, in this file, uh, in this template. I even updated this file name. As you can see, I put a file name placeholder here in this file name. So I defined the actual values which are going to replace this placeholder file name. So I defined like this. So all other text uh, placeholders, we do it like this way. As you can see, title, report, author, so all of this information, uh, all the text placeholders, I put I put it here in this text tab. Okay, so this is for the text placeholder, and here we have a tab for image. So basically, this image could be a little bit different. So we have a few options here. So the first column is also a key, which is actually you can find. Basically, you defined in this in here in this alternative text title. Okay, so 
if you want to update this image, you need to place a placeholder here. So for, for example here, I'm going to update this profile image with this uh, key, uh, profile. So I have a key here, profile, and I can select uh, a source of image. So basically, if you have an image on your Google Drive, you can copy the URL or the ID of the of the uh, of the file of the image to here. Okay, so basically you can simply uh, place a URL or ID. So basically, this column is for the image on your Google Drive. All right, and this one is basically for public image. All right, so if you put a so if you put a, a ID or URL here, so this image is going to override this one, okay? So if you want, only need to use this URL from public, you need to delete this URL. So basically, we can only use one of these two columns, okay? And here, uh, and this is for the source of image, okay? So you can pick a image on your Google Drive and you also can pick an image from a public URL okay so this one is from a public website so I can find an image like this way so got a profile image like this and uh, this one you can crop the image or not so basically I'm going to check it and if the if you want to add a link to that image you also can apply a link so basically you can apply a link to this image so you can click on it so this is for the image. So basically, you can change the image, and you can add a link to that image. So here, for example, I have from uh, Facebook, Twitter, YouTube, Instagram. If you see, we have a few icons here. What if I want to add some link to these images, right? So in this way, I don't need to update this image, right? So I keep them empty, and uh, I only need to add the link to this image so I can do it like this alright so this is about the image and this final one here is about the table so if you check I here have a table placeholder I designed like this so as you can see we have an alternative text title calendar so I have a calendar table here as you can see and also I give some colors here for some date to highlight and uh, that's it so basically for calendars you should follow this uh, this pattern right so if if I basically the script going to go through all these tabs so if it, if the script find any tab name uh, which is following this pattern and uh, the script we're going to take it as a table table data placeholder Okay, so if you have more tables, you can make a copy of this and then rename it to another name. And uh, you can make another table in your template and update the title for the alternative text. Okay, so you can have multiple tables and uh, with uh, multiple tabs here. So if you have multiple tables. So let me show you uh, what kind of process we are doing here. So. Let's try to run. So here I have a menu called Slide Pro and uh, have a button to create a report. Let's create a new report. And uh, I'm going to ask you for the confirmation. Click on yes. As you can see, you have a status uh, to update the bus status. So update the images, update the tables. So done. And uh, you should see this is the file name we just updated. And this is the link to the report just created. And this is the timestamp. You can check the report. So if I open this report, I think I should have everything updated successfully, I hope. So uh, the title, the author updated successfully, right? So if we compare this to this uh, title, author, author, author. And if you check, this is a table for the calendar, remember? So if you compare 
with this table. So this table, we only have one row here. But basically, the script is going to uh, update this table with the data in this range. Okay, it depends on how many columns, how many rows in this in this table you define here. And as you can see, for this image, it's updated with my uh, with this picture here. Okay, and. Uh, since we have a value here, so this image is ignored. So what if I delete this one and we're going to do another test again to see if this image can be used. And if you notice that, uh, we have a link to this URL, right? This is a link. And if you check this, this is to Facebook, this is to Twitter, this is to YouTube, and this is to Instagram, right? And uh, also, this email from website, if you check, email from website is also updated. And here we have a title and author is also updated, right? So uh, this is just a very quick demo for you to use this tool to create your own report very quickly, okay? so. Is all I think it's covered most of the situations uh, when you're trying to create a report like this. And uh, let me show you something about the code here. So basically, in this in this video, I'm not going to explain uh, about the code line by line because this is about to introduce you this project. So it's it main for the functionality of this project and. Uh, so if you think this is uh, this could help you, so you can just make a copy of this project, and, and uh, you should be able to start to use it very quickly. Okay, and also here, this is the project structure. So basically, you have a template with a Google Slide file, and this is your main project with the data and the script. And here, this folder will going to be created automatically for you, so you don't need to worry about it. It's just to uh, a folder for all the report we're going to be created automatically. Okay, so let me explain a little bit about the code to you. So if, just in case you need to do some change in the code, all right. Just open the script editor as you can see. Uh, let's close the template. So in this uh, in this project, I also used a library called Slide Pro. So this library uh, is uh, created by by me. So I post the code. Uh, I think I posted this. Uh, you can find the source code, okay, uh, on my GitHub repository. So don't need to worry about it. And uh, the here, I think the only thing you need to change, uh, just in case, for the app name. So basically, this app name is this. As you can see, this menu name. So if you want to change it, you can change it here. So this is for the name of the app, and here is the report folder name. You remember we have a report folder uh, which was created automatically. So if you prefer a different name, you can rename it here. And this is for the report sheet name. So you also this tab name. Okay, reports. So if you prefer another name, you can change it here, and make sure uh, you update this name as well. Okay, make sure this name is matching this name here, and this is for the text placeholder. So basically, uh, I need to use this text to find which 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 tab is for text placeholders, and here is a tab for the image placeholders. Basically, so if you if you change this name by accident. You're going to break the tool, right? So make sure this text is exactly the same with this text, and that this image is exactly the same with this image. And here is the uh, sheet name table pattern because for this table we can have multiple tables, right? So I used a regular expression here to find the the basically to find a tab name similar like this. So basically start with a double curly braces like this. So 
I use this regular expression to check it. So if you want to use a different pattern, you need to update this pattern as well. Okay. And here, this parameters here is basically, uh, it basically is to uh, a, some tricky stuff. I don't think you want to use it, but you can keep this as a because in Google Spreadsheet we cannot set up a background with a trans transparent color. We don't have a transparent here, so I use. Uh, the white color as the transparent. So if you set the background of this of background of this cell to 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 white, so which basically is uh, white. So white is six uh, F, right? And the hex colors F F F F F. So I use this color. So if you Put a background of uh, white color. I'm going to uh, change it to a transparent table cell. Okay, so here, this cell we're going to be transparent. So basically, there is no background color of this cell, but we can have a background color of this slide. So the background color of the slide is going to show. It looks like this cell has some background color. Okay, something like that. So this is for the all the settings you need to do, all right? So if you are interested in this code, and then you need to go through all the code in this app class. So it's very similar to my previous object, okay? So I'm not sure if I'm going to release another video to explain this code a little bit. So for this video, I think, I, I think it's enough for you to understand how I processed this, uh, how, how I did in this automation. So basically, uh, I think I covered everything you need to know and to begin to use this tool. Okay, so let me know if you have any questions and leave me a comment. And uh, that's it for this video. And uh, see you in the next one. Thank you. Bye bye.